Are you overwhelmed with all the note applications that are currently in the App Store or are you just frustrated with all the paper notes that you're writing and, and losing everywhere? Well, I have an amazing solution for today. My name is Dan, this is my channel, and I love making everyday technology easy. Um, I worked at Apple for 19 years and now I have the honor and pleasure to be in full-time ministry. So I have a major note dilemma and it is that I find myself using notes every single day. So for me, notes are very useful. They're practical. Um, I, I started to uncover, I started trying out so many different applications like I'm sure you have. And I keep coming back to one. So today I want to show you my strategy, maybe my tips on how I personally take notes and really how I have begun to see how note taking has changed for me. So here's uh, how I like to see my my notes. I, I've broken this down into three categories. A, the need, two, the category, and then three, the input method. So let's go to category one, the need. Listen, note taking is an amazing uh, tool that we have. If you're a student in high school, junior high, college, if you're an adult going back to school, if you are a professional, you're working, uh, if you're a home wife, it doesn't matter what role you are in, chances are you are scribbling something on a post-it, your refrigerator is cluttered with notes, or your car, you have scrap pieces of paper. Note-taking simply works. A is a physical reminder of what you need to do. It's also a visual reminder and it's also something that you can read. So it kind of triggers all of our senses when it comes to uh, our memory. But number two, I've started to categorize my notes. I, I personally take notes for stuff that has to deal with my home, right? Things that I got to get done around the house. Love, if you're watching, I promise I will get to them. But there are things I need to get done around the house, right? There's projects. I want to I wanna paint this room. I want to redo my office. I want to cut the grass. I got to clean the pool. Just so many different things that I got to do at home. And I've done many of those uh, videos, even with grocery lists, etc. But there's definitely a home category that I use. There's also a work category where I have to take notes at work. As you know, I'm in full-time ministry, so I'm constantly taking notes of projects that we have going on over there, or maybe that I have one-on-one -on -one meetings with families or couples, and I'm taking down notes so that I can recall information. And I want to kind of keep those siloed and in, in a private environment. Then I also have notes for school, right? I'm actually, I went back to university. I'm back in the seminary trying to finish my degree, kind of uh, root me on there in the comments, say, go Dan, go, because let me tell you, it's a hard one. Um, but but I, I went back to, so I have to categor, categorize some of those notes as I'm listening to a professor, professor or watching a dissertation online. I have to categorize that. And then finally, I have my personal notes. You know, um, I, I love going to church and I love, you know, journaling and taking notes of, of the sermon or the teaching or the life group class that I may be attending. Maybe uh, you school, but maybe you are taking notes as a personal journal for you. So understand the different categories of what you have and that'll help us out to the next area, which is now the input. For me, input is a big deal because I find myself inputting or capturing these notes on different devices. The device that you always practically always have with you is your iPhone, right? It's your number one device. It's the last device that I put to charge in the evening and it's probably the first device that I pick up in the morning, even though it's right next to my Apple Watch, right? So th this device uh, helps me input those last minute ideas into a note. If I'm in the car, maybe I'm stopped at a red light, I can quickly take my phone out and, and jot something down. I can take a picture. It's a device that I find myself taking the most amount of notes. Now, there's another source of input that I absolutely love, which is my iPad. And truth be told, I typically don't let go of iPads. In other words, as I as iPads get a little bit older and it's time to upgrade, I'll, different, I, I'll typically purchase a new iPad that's a different size. So I have a mini. I have an Air and then I have a Pro 12.9 and it's and it's an old one. It's like the first generation M1 iPad Pro and it's a work beast. But I find myself that I enjoy 
these larger iPad formats to take notes when I'm at work. I'm more of at a desk setting, or maybe I'm home, but I'm on the kitchen table, I'm on the couch, and I, and I have to do some light work, but I want something just slightly bigger than my phone. I love taking notes on the iPad. Plus, now you have the integration of the Apple Pencil. And I love doodling, right? I love drawing shapes, I love drawing uh, graphs and kind of making a, a note even more visually appealing, which helps it stick in your memory more. So I have the need for the 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 note taking, um, and I had the need for the notes check. I have the the categories identified, both home and work and school, maybe personal journey. And now I have the input. I have my iPhone, I have my iPad, and I have what I'm going to show you in this video during through my Mac. So I have different sources of input. And for me, I have different categories of what notes I take and where and how. Now, um, what I want to show you, I'm going to go ahead and switch cameras here because I want to kind of walk you through um, why I have landed on what I feel is the mo it's the best note taking app for me. And I, I would dare to believe that it's probably the best note taking app for 95% of you watching um, here, which is Apple Notes. Now I've spoken about Apple Notes in the past. It's free. It comes included in, on your iPhone. It comes on your Mac. It comes on your iPad. It syncs across all of your devices via iCloud. It's just easy. And if you haven't used Apple Notes in maybe a couple of years, you'll find it that it's familiar yet improved. And what I love is that Apple seems to be hearing and paying attention and making Apple Notes even better with every edition that comes out. Now, one of the reasons that I love Apple Notes is because it's just easy and it works. And believe it or not, it's the cleanness, it's the clean look that draws me right back to it. Now for Apple Notes, I typically find myself jotting notes on my iPhone, on my Mac, and on my iPad. On my iPad, I do use another note-taking application for a specific category. So stick around for that one. I'll share you my thoughts on that. But here, here are the features that I love about Apple Notes. And I'm going to go ahead and kind of move this screen around so that you guys can get a better view of, of what I'm seeing. I'm going to move some windows around. So one of the things I love about Apple Notes, it's, it's, it's organized, right? It's very easy to organize my notes. So here on the far left hand side of my Apple Notes, I've created different folders. In the past, I was the type of person that I would just start writing notes and then adding a note and adding a note. And then quickly I had hundreds, if not probably a thousand notes that were just uncategorized, just kind of spilled here in this outer rim of my of my Apple Notes. But I've taken the time and I've gone back and I've created different folders for different needs. So I have a general notes folder. I have one for school. I have one for work. I have templates. I, I saw, I, I did another video with uh, um, using notes template. If you haven't watched that video, I'll link it up here on a card or down below. Um, I've included um, a, a folder for mind dump, right? That's like my early morning rise first device that I get. I just start unloading or downloading everything that I have on my mind on that one note that I'm going to go through th uh, go through throughout the day and organize that later. I have one for the family, I have projects, I have vacation planning, and, and, and so on and so forth. But I love the simple organization of Apple Notes. So that's a, a check for me. I love the fact that we can do folders. Check for me. I love the fact that within a folder, so I'm going to go ahead and click on school here. And as I click on school, I can go ahead and add another note. So I'm just going to add this note for today. And I'm going to add, like I'm going to put class notes. Um, uh, I, I typically like to put the date. So today is the 20th. And I'm just going to make somebody up here. I'm going to put Dr. Rodriguez has a nice sound to it. No, um, and I'm going to put today's dissertation or today's class, and I'm just going to go ahead and take my notes from here on out. Um, now, there's many ways I can take notes. I can use my iPhone to recapture the audio, right? Um, I can use my Mac if I'm in a if I'm watching a Zoom class. I can turn on the microphone of my Apple Notes and capture that audio, so on and so forth. But what I love about Apple Notes is that if there is a note you really need, all you have to do is you can right click on it, you can select Pin Note, 
and you can just quickly pin that note all the way to the top. So you can probably see how that's very helpful, especially if you have a lot of notes, but there's this one note that you really need to continue to update. You can pin a note. I love that feature, very, very simple. I love the fact that now Apple has given us more formatting. So as you can see here in this biology class, I've gone ahead and made my text larger. Very simple. I, t I typically start with a title, bio, and the date. I can easily highlight that level, that line of uh, text. I can go ahead and click up here where it's the big A, the little A, and I can make that a title, a heading, a subheading, so on and so forth. I can change the color by clicking on this little color wheel and I can pick a different color if I choose to. So now I'm kind of making this note myself. Maybe you color code your notes depending on the subject line. You can have bullet list down below. Um, if I scroll all the way down here, you'll notice that in addition to that, I have key takeaways. I have a homework section. I've, in, I've also incorporated a checklist. So maybe within my note taking within my note, I can create a checklist so I can go ahead and, and check these things off as I've completed them. I've also added a table. All these features are found in the very top line up here within my note taking application Apple Notes. And we're not even scratching the surface by using Apple Intelligence where it can summarize, it can, it can, um, it can kind of get your text and either simplify it translate it, things of that nature. But again, Apple Notes for me, it's all about organization. So that is another check for me. So what I love about smart folders over here on the far left is that I've created a folder and basically you can do this. You can just click on the plus symbol down below right around here where it says new folder. It'll create a new folder and it'll even give you the option to you want to create this as a smart folder. And what a smart folder does, it starts to incorporate tags, incorporate tags. So as you can see here in my smart in my in my smart folder of school, I have several tags. I have a tag called class projects and I have one called homework. So basically, I can start building these tags and whenever I need to find notes that have this specific tag, I go to the smart folder and I'll go ahead and click on homework and it'll bring up all my notes that have been tagged as homework. In this case, there's only one right now for on this device. But as you can imagine on my personal iPhone, I have hundreds of tags, whether it's for home, for work, and then even subcategories, home, I have yard projects, indoor projects, painting projects grocery list or shopping list, you can go wild with all these tags, but it's just a very quick way in helping you and I find our notes that much faster. Now, the third thing that I love about Apple Notes, I'm going to go here to, let's just go to work for an example. And in here in work, you'll quickly notice that I have a locked file. And this is one of the features that I love about Apple Notes, the fact that you can lock your notes. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock this um, note for us. And maybe, again, going back to these different categories where you have a home note, maybe you have a work note, uh, so on and so forth, a school note, and maybe one of your notes, you have sensitive information. Maybe you're keeping a list of passwords, right? Or, or maybe it's a combination locks to your gate or your front door, things of that nature. So here I created a, a fictitious 2025 budget, and maybe you have sensitive information that you, that you just don't want anybody going through it, they happen to be using your device. Um, or you don't want anybody editing this information, even if it's your spouse or one of your kids and they're they're on there playing Brawl Stars on your device. Uh, by the way, do your kids play Brawl Stars or any type? Of, what, what game do your kids play on your device? Drop it down below in the comment. Um, but here I've created a note, very simple, right? It kind of created a budget, an expense sheet, an ad campaign. Uh, that's an old video I did of the, the life-changing device that you can wear Apple Watch. You should watch that video, pretty cool. Um, but once you've created a note, you can simply right-click and lock. Now, I've already locked this note. So you'll notice that up in my toolbox, way up, here there is a little lock symbol that all I got to do is I can just click on it say hey close all my locked notes and just like that all of my notes are locked and what's very cool is that Apple made it very simple you can either use your default password that you use to unlock your device as your lock password or you can set a different password for that but here's the word of caution if you forget that password, 
Apple's privacy statement is that they there's no way that they can even know of the password and they cannot unlock that password. So make sure that you're using something that you will not forget. Take this as your warning, right? You have been warned. So make sure if you lock your note, you can definitely recover that note. Well, my friends, so let's do a quick recap. Um, again, note taking is essential. It works. It just simply works. You and I are taking notes on many, many different things. How do you take notes? The way that I take notes, I take notes by category, home, work, school, you know, and for my case, church, right? Or personal journaling, if you're into journaling. And then there is a different method in how I capture my notes. The one overarching app that I found to work the best for me, may not work the best for you, is Apple Notes. It, it's free, it's organized, and it syncs across all of my devices. And for those three reasons, I'm ecstatic. Now, I did mention that I had one more, and that's for my iPad. And it really comes to when I'm personally note-taking, if I'm watching a class, if I'm taking notes, if I'm at church, you know, taking notes from the sermon. I love to use an application. It's not new, but it's one called GoodNotes. And this video is not sponsored by them at all. Um, but I've been using GoodNotes for, for quite a long time. They've gone through so many changes. It is a paid application. They've actually gone to a subscription. I believe it's an annual subscription-based model. You can also just buy it right out. Don't quote me, but I think last time I checked, it was like $35 for Lifeline, Lifelong. Um, and then they've had different versions. There is a free version for trial. You can download it and try it out. But I have found that that one is the best for me when I like to draw, I like to copy paste, I want to add regular text to my notes. And one of the things that I do is I, I jot down very fast, very messy. But then when I sit down typically with a cup of coffee and I'm going to review my notes and kind of just meditate and kind of take those notes in. Again, these are the notes that I want to go back because I want to absorb these notes. I want to study these notes. I want to learn something from these notes. I'll go back and I'll kind of rewrite them, take my time, I'll doodle, I'll draw images, pictures that help you know connect the dots for me. And also what I found to make that process even easier for my note taking drawing skills, I use two different products and again, not sponsored. They have no, zero idea who Cafe Con Dan is or they don't even know I'm doing this video. It's a product called uh, Paperlike. And what they do is they make a, a protective film for the iPad that's slightly textured. So as you're running your Apple Pencil across the screen, it kind of gives it that, that little bit of a grit feeling just like a piece of paper would feel and it has some like you know pretty awesome technology if you go to the website um, they show how they do their nano nano texture within that I also use a grip on my Apple pencil I'll drop down below a, a link to um, uh, an affiliate store that I use basically it's all the stuff that I like again no pressure if you're looking for something you can even go there as a reminder but know that if you do buy something through there um, it costs the exact same price that you would pay on a regular store. It just gives me a referral credit and it helps the channel out. But again, that's up to you. But those are the thing, those are the two products that I like to use with my iPad. Helps me, it might help you. I hope that you found this video uh, worth it. I hope that you learned something. Again, I, I love doing these videos just for the pure enjoyment of educating and teaching you, even if it's just one thing. So do me a big favor. If you learned something, drop it down in the comment. Let me know what you learned or let me know what feature of Apple Notes you use and why you like it. Or if you use something that's even better and you have a reason why it's better, man, I am a creature of learning. I want to learn from you. So drop it down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. So much appreciated. Until next time, peace out.